Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Spoonie Pizzas here with another Pez 2019 video. Today I am going to take you through an advanced defending tutorial. So let's get straight into it. In this clip you're going to learn about the importance of intercepting the passing lanes but also applying a secondary player press. So to apply a secondary player press all you need to do is hold the square on the control pad and whilst doing that what, I'm what you're going to see me do is try and intercept the passing lane using Kessie. Whilst holding the secondary player press button, what will happen is the player with the, in the little triangle above their head, which is the secondary player indicator, will mean that they will press the player with the ball. So what you're going to see here is I'm pressing the player with the ball, but also giving them no option to pass. And that way I can win the ball back very, very easily. It's so important to track runners in PES 2019. You're going to see that throughout most of these clips. But what you can see here is that I'm making sure that I'm not going out to the player receiving the ball with Guero. What I'm doing is applying the secondary player press once again, but I'm tracking the run with Guero. Once I was happy that Guerrero had blocked any sort of three balls or crosses to that player, I switched over to Vinicius Jr. You can see I've got player selected here. Now what I'm doing is I'm jockeying, so hold the right trigger to jockey. And as soon as he turns to face me, just tap X once to win the ball. There are times to hold X when defending, which I'll cover later. But generally, when you want to try and win the ball, just tap the X button. Don't hold it. Remember earlier that I said about always tracking your runners? And that is really important. But don't drop too deep. And if possible, play for an offside call, which is what you're going to see me do here. So as soon as someone lays the ball off, that's generally a good indicator that they're going to probably make a player run because they hold the player select and press the pass button and that triggers the player in. And the same applies for the AI. So you can see there that I followed him back in and once I was confident he was the opposite side of my defenders, I was able to pull my defender up and that would obviously play the offside trap. Now it can be tricky because obviously some camera views you can't see the whole pitch. So just be careful of that. Um, you may have like a stray right back or left back that you, that you can't see in your specific camera angle. So just be, be just be careful of that. And obviously the angle of the pitch, you know, it's not a straight line, it's off to the diagonal because of the way the uh, the camera is. So take that into account as well. But generally it's, it, once you've got it nailed down, it's pretty, uh, it's a pretty useful tool and will stop the AI playing that through ball. And then you can see here, he's gonna play it out to the wing instead. Now we all know how much the computer likes or the AI likes to get down the wings and cross it in. So you can see my player is turning there. So by the time he's turned, he's not going to have a chance to get out and press the ball player. So what I'm going to do is just do the best I can. And I'm using Super Council, which is your right bumper and right trigger. Just hold that down or R1 and R2. And what you can do, just hold that down and that allows you to maintain your momentum and pick up speed a lot faster. So what you're gonna see me do is spin on the on the on the turn, and I'm just gonna keep a straight line and just try and intercept any crosses. I'm not gonna actually go out to meet him because that's gonna give him a chance to cross the ball in and you know unguarded, and it's, he's gonna be able to find the guy in the middle who's uh, who's clearly a threat. Dybala clips one through. Well read, he's sorting. And you're just gonna see that more or less from the other side as well. That intervention was very necessary. Generally, on a whole, my defending is very passive, tracking runners, dropping deep, and just giving getting numbers back in the box, as I find that's probably the most effective way to defend in PES 2018, uh, PES 2019, sorry. Um, and here, what you can see is, is waiting for the AI to make a mistake. And you're gonna see that in the next few clips. So you can see here, they've passed the ball. He's under pressure, so I'm applying that secondary player press. And then I'm just going to look to intercept any flick or pass that he can possibly make to that one other player that he can 
really pass to in this scenario. And then I'm going to win the ball back very, very easily. So the AI have just passed the ball into their striker, their central striker. And I did actually try to go out and win it. So there is a bit of risk reward there. So I could have won the ball. But I've also left it very, very risky because he's able to actually turn me right now. So it's important to make sure that I stay goal side and track him. And what you'll see is he's going to pass the ball off and I'm going to try and win the ball again. But as soon as I, as soon as there's a bit of distance between me and the AI, I'm going to just back off. And that's what you're going to see in this clip now. So just watch me try to win the ball when the AI is very close to my defenders. And as soon as I can't realize I can't win the ball, I back off. So just watch that in this clip now. Jockeying this year is so important. Anywhere from, I would say, the edge of the penalty area where the semicircle is and beyond, or back towards your own goal, should I say. If you can get close to the player, um, I would say like six yards, and then you want to start engaging the jockey. Um, this will make your stance larger, so you'll block more area of the goal. Um, and that's what I'm doing here. So I'm holding the jockey button and if he takes a touch, I'm going to charge him down by holding X. Do you remember earlier that I said about tapping X? In this scenario, you want to hold X just to make sure you hone in straight onto the player and that will carry you through. The AI will always look for the perfect shot. So generally they may turn or they might try and do something a little bit different or take a touch because they're always looking for that perfect, like I say, a perfect shot, perfect attempt on goal. And that's what you're going to see here. He's going to take a touch. It's going to allow me to close the player down and win the ball back. Once again, when the ball came in, I was jockeying to block the shot by holding the right trigger down on your control pad or R2. This is forcing him to turn because once again, he's looking for that perfect shot like I told you about. And as soon as he turns, it's important on cap capitalizing on forced mistakes or any mistakes that AI makes like this turn. And then what I've got here, I've got this caption here, see the whole picture when defending. And that is so important. So I can see he's turned, right? And I know it's Pjanic, so I know he's right footed. So I know he has to turn onto his right foot ideally to get a decent shot away. But also look at the position of my players. Holding the secondary player press, that square on the control pad, that's enabling other players to close him down as well. And the only way he can turn is to sort of down, downwards on, the, um, on this picture here to get it onto his right foot to get a shot off on goal. So that's why I've covered that side. You know, you just got to see the whole picture see which way you can turn and yeah more or less just cover that side using the a combination of the jockeying and then you just gotta let the jockey go and sprint towards him holding x and then you'll win the ball back oh, great defending. That, that concludes the advanced defending tutorial guys hope you enjoyed the video please let me know your thoughts in the comments if there's anything you want me to cover then please let me know and uh, yeah, I'll catch you again in my next video. Cheers, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.